Thank you. Thank you. Everybody's leaving. <laughs> Uh, first, I want to thank Farum and Coach Harper, uh, obviously, for hosting. Rita and Mike doing a great job uh, all year as a conference office. Uh, also, want to thank RSID and Assistant AD, is what I'd call her, Ricky Rich, for being here in attendance today. And Dr. Clark, our president at North Carolina Wesleyan, and John Thompson, our athletic director. Um, thank them for the opportunity to represent North Carolina Wesleyan and the support they provide on a daily, weekly, yearly uh, process, if you would. Uh, before I begin into our preview, uh, I have two special women uh, that I have to give a little shout out to. My mom turned 70 today. Love you. Miss you. And my wife, Stacy, turned 70 today. Love you also. Well, I say that and almost break up in tears. I hope uh, that's a good enough uh, forgiveness, permission to hang out with the fellas today. But, all right, as I enter, obviously, my third season uh, at Wesleyan, um, each year I see us getting grown to be stronger. Um, we return a lot of guys this year. Uh, looking at, uh, we played a lot of young guys over the last couple of years, and and now is the time that a lot of those guys have grown up. Uh, looking at quarterback right out the gate, offensively we have two senior quarterbacks. And a lot of schools would love to have one. We've got two. Uh, Dustin Midget and Robin Lanier, uh, both have been productive in our offense. Um, it'll be their year, if you would. This should be the best year of their career, their senior year. Um, they'll be fortunate. I mean, we've got a, I, which I feel our best Unit on the football field is going to be our wide receiver core. Um, we got Malik Adams. He's an all-conference performer. He's explosive, dynamic. Uh, he's a guy we got to get the football to. He's a home run hitter. He's got to be. He's a game changer. Um, we're hoping to put on the other side a, a guy that took a year off uh, with a military commitment with Devonte Beatty, and then we have certainly a lot of other young talent to fill in and compete for playing time. Uh, up front, a lot of the guys here talked about it. I believe that's where the game's won, is on the offensive line. And, uh, you know, we, we lost two seniors and two tight ends, but we return a wealth of depth, if you would. Um, two seniors will return, and a, and a junior have all played for me for the last two years, so this will be three years running. Um, Martin Braswell and TJ Williams will be seniors, and Devontae Mizell will be a, a junior this year. Those guys have basically started every game since I've been here. Um, so that's th three of the positions of the five positions, if you would. And certainly, like I said, we got a lot of depth that will help um, fill those other two voids. Um, at running back, certainly we, we, we lost a dynamic player there. Uh, and we lost a lot of production to graduation. Uh, that's the one place and the one area that I will sit back through camp and the competition will begin. And certainly we have about a half dozen guys on campus returning, trying to vie for that spot. And then I have no problem playing a freshman if somebody wants to come in here and show that they can hold on to the football and be productive. So sit back and relax and, and watch that. And come September 4th, I can promise you somebody will be back there who can tote the rock. Uh, on defense, you know, a, a, a year ago, I sat back and I was so excited every week to watch them play. They were so young. Um, some mistakes, as some of the coaches talk about when you get with the youth, but you get a lot of flying around. You get a lot of enthusiasm and new. Um, it, it's it's going to be great to go out there and watch them play again. And the crazy thing about them being young, they're all back. They were a year uh, with a year of experience with the weight room, uh, all the things that a lot of the coaches are talking about. Um, we lost one starter, our middle linebacker. Everybody else is back. You know, we got an all-conference defensive end, Rakeem Cooper. You know, he's going to be a junior. And I want you to listen to these classes now, because I ain't going to mention one senior. So this is going to happen all over again a year from now. And, and Travis Thompson is going to be a sophomore. Julius Williams is going to be a sophomore. Uh, along with a bunch of other guys. Linebacker, two-year starter, uh, Mike Clemens, who's a junior. Uh, returning starter, uh, sophomore Kamara Rawls. 
Jonathan Quiller is going to be a sophomore. And then in our back end, which again on the defensive side, I think that's where we're going to be the most depth. We basically have five uh, starters returning, um, led by a junior, Bobby Tucker, sophomore, Javion Thompson, Jalen Johnson, Anthony Jagnesack, Tyreek Dix, all sophomores. All right. And again, like I said, I mean, all these guys are going to be back. All right. One senior I mentioned on the defensive side of the football field. Um, it's exciting. It's an exciting time, and we're one step closer to as some of the coaches are talking about competing. And, uh, you know, we're going to move forward. So, questions? Coach, after your first two seasons in the USA South, what have you learned about football this season? Well, I, I think, uh, you know, Coach said earlier about every week you, you, you got to bring your A game. And, uh, Certainly, any, any week of the season, it, it, you got to line up and play it. And there, it's not that there is somebody you're going to walk out on the field. I mean, we were competitive in every one of our games last year. And, and you know, we got to learn to win. And a lot of the things that are being talked about on a daily or on the today's basis. But I mean, we get there, we'll, we'll be fine. Thanks, Coach. Ladies and gentlemen, head coach Jeff Thank you.